Uh, what falls apart centres on a uh, Labour MP or a prospective Labour MP who's up in the Newcastle area campaigning during the uh, election that's about to come, four months' time. Uh, he has various midlife crises, one of which is a growing dependency on alcohol. He's sexually restless, but his main problem is he has a, a massive remorse about voting for the Iraq war in 2003, and he's kind of lost a little bit of his faith in what Labour is. So the play is really looking at what has happened to political opposition in this country. Uh, the play came about because uh, with the election coming up, I wanted to do something that uh, related to that and allowed audiences to come here uh, to consider some of the issues that were going to be pertinent to that election uh, and to discuss some of the issues that might um, determine what people are to, to, to vote. Life Theatre has done a number of plays that have had a political uh, context uh, with both a small p and a, and a big p. Uh, one of the shows that we did were based in the past was called A Walk on Park which was based on the memoirs of former MP Chris Mullin, who was MP for Sunderland South, who wrote a, a brilliant uh, collection of memoirs that charted the rise and fall of New Labour. And uh, Michael Chaplin skillfully adapted those for a piece that we presented, which was on here and then went down to London. So I was very keen to look at, audiences really enjoyed that, and I was very keen to look at a play that might sail on the coattails of, uh, of that and explore what's going on within the Labour Party after the rise and fall of New Labour. Well, what can audiences expect, I suppose? Um, if it's a play by Torben, then it'll be a play that will be full of drama, it will have conflict and it will have comedy, and I think it will speak directly to today and to our audience. I'd say audiences could expect, uh, uh, obviously the play is not quite uh, ready yet, I'm only on the first draft, but it's, uh, it's even for me, it's quite, it's quite brutal, it will be quite brutal, but also, I hope, for, uh, funny, so you've got the, you've got the, you've got the mix of, of, you know, quite hard-hitting, angry um, characters and, and dramatic tension, and in a fairly tragic, you know, it's, 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 it's an angry play. It's an angry play, unashamedly. There's a lot of issues in it, but it's also, it's got comedy. So and that's the, what I try and do is blend the two in my work. Why should people see it? Because it's a play that uh, uh, is directly relevant to the times. But, I mean, people come and see plays here because they see good plays. They see fantastic production values. They see great actors. Uh, and they see plays that are immediate and, and relevant to um, the issues and concerns that face them. And I think people should come and see it because I hope whatever I do, people might... The play is... Can be, one can judge the play as a whole. But I do believe that I write parts that, that actors can really get their, sink their teeth into. So there are three parts, all of equal weight, that three good actors can really you know, give a, can shine in. Yeah, so really satisfying theatrical experience which audiences who come to live uh, have grown to expect.